HokeySpeed represents the next generation of supercomputing. As the creator of HokeySpeed, I designed it to be much faster, much more energy efficient, and using a lot less space than previous supercomputers. So let's take a look. We're now in the staging room for HokeySpeed, and this is an example of one of the compute nodes here. So inside this compute node, we have uh, a very large number of computing brains, and this is different from past supercomputers or older supercomputers in that older supercomputers only had one type of brain. Let's, let's just say for the sake of convenience, they had only right types of brains. In this kind of compute node, we have left types of brains and right types of brains in order to do computations faster and, and more accurately by leveraging different types of brains and many of them. And so inside here, what you see is that here are the traditional types of brains that you see in older supercomputers. These are called CPUs, or central processing units. Uh, there, are, there are 12 of these. On either side of this, underneath these uh, silver shields, are something called GPUs, which are graphics processing units. And each one of these has 448 uh, other types of brains. Um, and so in all, there's on the order of 1,000 brain uh, individual entities that are operating within this single compute node and we have over 200 of them in the machine room behind me and this is where these nodes are being housed so let's go take a look we're now deep in the bowels of the machine room where hokey speed resides as well as many of the other supercomputers here at virginia tech you might notice that i'm talking pretty loud or even screaming to some degree because of all of the cooling and fans that are needed in order to keep these supercomputers operating at optimum efficiency. With all this compute power, it burns up a lot of energy, so we have to make sure to keep it cool in order for it to operate well. So we saw before that inside one of these compute nodes is two sets of brains, CPU brains and GPU brains, and they work together uh, collectively in Inside here, we have on the order of 20 of such nodes, and there are uh, on the order of 14 racks of these types of compute nodes. On the back side, we have some additional innovations that we've been working on, and so why don't we just go take a look there. So on the back side of Hokey Speed, uh, what we have here is a, is a power distribution unit. It's called a PDU. And this is yet another innovation that we have with respect to Hokey Speed. This PDU takes uh, a number of readings that enable us to help monitor the health of the system. And this PDU takes into account things like the current draw uh, that's being drawn in, uh, how much power is being consumed, uh, what the temperature uh, uh, thermals are uh, in the rack, as well as what even the humidity is. It monitors what's going on right now in order to try and figure out what to do uh, in terms of regulating and adapting to the system uh, environment. And this system as a whole is one of the most energy efficient supercomputers in the world. It's ranked number 11. Um, and more importantly, it's, it's the highest ranked uh, commodity supercomputer here in the US uh, with respect to energy efficiency.